So what is confidence? What is the secret to feeling more confident? So I'm just down in Canberra at the moment, just finished a presentation. And one of the questions that came up during the presentation was how can we maintain our levels of confidence when we're in situations where there might be conflict or we might be asked a question that we don't know the answer to or it could be a, a tense conversation. What happens in those situations a lot of time is people, they start to feel a little bit uncertain. And what this does is it affects their confidence levels and this is then seen by the other person. Now, one of the biggest killers of trust is a lack of confidence. And confidence is a weird thing because confidence is a kind of vibe that we get from another person. So what I wanna address in this video is what is a tool that we can use to help us maintain our confidence levels when we're in those situations where we feel a little bit uncertain, we're feeling a little bit anxious. So I want you to look at this from three different areas. And I call this the three Bs. This is something that I talk about in my presentations. First B is about the breath. When we're, when we're nervous, when we're anxious, think about this. If I asked you to get into a cold shower now, what would you do? The chances are you'd go and you'd hold your breath. When we're stressed out, when we're anxious, our breathing changes. We either hold our breath or our breath will start to speed up. By doing this, what then happens is that then causes the body to tense up. Now, an interesting thing with the body is the mind and the body, they are connected. So the way that we feel shows up in our body language, but because they're connected and it's a loop, we can use our body to also change the way that we feel. So when you're in that situation where all of a sudden you feel a little bit uncertain or you're asked a question that you don't know the answer to, and you find yourself either holding your breath or breathing really fast, what happens, and you can see it in my shoulders now, is your body starts to tense up. And what it does is, this tensing up, it locks this anxiety, this nervousness into your body. And then the mind is going, well, okay, the body's tensed up, so I must be feeling uncertain. And then we start to transmit these signals out of a lack of confidence. And the brain then starts going off on its negative spiral, looking for all the things that could possibly go wrong in this situation, how you're not going to be able to find the answer to the question that you're being asked, or, or you're not gonna be able to get a good resolution to the conflict that's, that's happening in front of you. So, when we look at the breath, the body, and the brain, all we need to do to be able to maintain our confidence levels is first of all, focus on the breath. When we feel ourselves feeling uncertain, just remember to breathe. Remember, fast breathing or holding your breath is gonna lock in the tension. So remember to breathe. The second thing is we need to relax our bodies. Now, a lot of tension is instantly comes up in the shoulders. So if you can just relax your shoulders, imagine putting air, air under your wings is what I like to call it, but just having that, uh, just focusing on relaxing your shoulders and letting it come down through your arms. That's naturally gonna make you feel more relaxed. And then when it comes to, to your brain, the final B, you wanna be focused on what you want the outcome to be. So breath, body, brain, it is a really simple hack to allow you to feel more confident when you're in those situations where you feel uncertain. If you've got a little tip for feeling more confident, especially in those tense situations, please leave it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.